Hello, my name is Esteban Serna. I am a senior DynamoDB specialist solution architect. And in my role, I help customers to implement their Amazon DynamoDB solutions and apply security best practices. Last week, we have released the preview of attribute-based access control. And I have created a blog where I describe how you can benefit from joining this preview and using attribute-based access control policies. And I have a couple of examples that are very well explained in the blog. However, many of my customers ask if I can show them or give me a walkthrough on how ABAC will be working with Amazon DynamoDB. So I decided to create this video and I'm going to be walking you through this very simple e example. So we have two Amazon DynamoDB tables. We have table, my table, and my table A. My table, uh, it's a very simple DynamoDB table. I have only a couple of items. The important element here is go to additional settings to go at the bottom and see all the different tags that I have configured in this table. Before a, the, the launch of ABAC, you can still assign tags to Amazon DynamoDB, but they will be just simply ignored when you try to apply any attribute-based access control in the IAM policies. With the introduction of ABAC, now we can build IAM policies that use tag conditions to define the control to your resources. So my table has this different amount of tags, and if I go and see my table A, as well to additional settings, scrolling all the way down, my table A doesn't have any tag. I have decided to run this demo with Lambda just for simplicity, so I don't have to switch into many screens. And I have created a very simple Lambda function that will try to scan the information from your DynamoDB table. When I test this Lambda function, you should see all the items from your table, my table, because the reason the the policy for this Lambda function is allowing you to put items and scan the items as for any table in this account as long as it has the, the tag environment equals lighting. So if I have to create a hundred different tables, as long as I put the lighting tag, I should be able to access them from this Lambda function. If, for example, I want to access my table A, and then I test this Lambda function, I should get an access denied. I did, because I don't have access to the policy. It's as simple as that to the table. Let's go to the second example. The second example, guess what? I'm going to be doing the same scan operation on the same table on a different Lambda function. Um, and this time, let me test what's going to happen first. I'm getting access denied. I guess I don't have a, the right policies implemented. So if I query the policy for this specific Lambda function, it says, okay, I'm allowing you the scan operation for my table only, not all the tables in this account. But wait a second, as long as the you have the project tag in the DynamoDB table matching your principal tag project. That means the role that is calling this Lambda function, the execution role needs to have the same tag from the one that you have in your DynamoDB table. If I go back to my table, I see that project is B. So to manage these tags, I'm going to put A back. I'm going to save the changes. And just to make sure that I don't have access to the other table because this policy doesn't give me access to table A. And when I test it, I'm getting access denied. I was expecting. But if I remove this to my table, which is the one that I explicitly declare in my AIM policy, AIM policy, then if I test it, I'm getting the information as it is defined in my table Pretty straightforward. It is really amazing this one because it is going to force you to match the principal tags with your resource tags. 
The third example is a little bit more exciting. We're going to create a DynamoDB table using this Lambda function. The DynamoDB table uh, is going to be called my table D. Surprise, surprise. And I've known that we have been using tags to control our policies. So I'm going to be given the environment lighting tag so I can access this information or this table with my first Lambda function. If I, at the end, I'm going to print the table status and, um, and that's it, and return the response. When I execute this Lambda function, it's going to get access denied, telling you the create table operation is not working. So if I come here to my role, I see that this Lambda function role has DynamoDB full access, so I can do whatever I want. But I have created as a control table creation policy where I'm going to deny a create table and tag resource for any table in any account um, if they don't have the tag, the ABAC tag, to rule them all. So you need to make sure that even if you add any other tags, as long as you add the ABAC tag to rule them all, you should be able to create your, um, your table. The first condition that we have over here is if, if you don't have ABAC enabled in your account, DynamoDB is sending null flags to IIM for this policy evaluation. So if we're sending null and we don't send keys, that means you can create the, the table. But as soon as you enable attribute big access control for DynamoDB by joining the preview, then you should be able to get um, the condition evaluated. So we just saw that we cannot create a table. What we're going to do is go and add the tag to rule them all. My precious. When I deploy this Lambda function and test, we have our table status creating. I mess up with a little bit of the JSON manipulation right there. And if I go over here and refresh my tables, I have my table be created over here. That means if I go back to my first Lambda function and move this from the table B, redeploy it, I run test, I got nothing, of course, because I don't have information in my table B. I can explore table items, create item, tab, my table, that item, I go back to my Lambda function and test one more time, I get my tables. So that's it for this video. Uh, I hope this demo clarify how you can actually use attribute-based access control with Amazon DynamoDB. We welcome you to join the preview and thank you for watching. My name is Esteban Serna. I'm a senior DynamoDB specialist solution architect. See you next time.